So hello people, how you going today? My name is Glenn, and today we're going to talk about these $2 coins. But first, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed, so I can show you more about Australian and world currency, and please like this uh, video if you do, if you find it informative. So today I have some $2 coins. Now, can you see what the problem is? But first, because these are counterfeit coins, can you find which one is actually real? Which one is real? Is it this one? That one? That one? That one? That one? Which one? Do you know? So, one, two, three, four, five. Have you thought about it? Well, it is number five. That one is actually a genuine coin. So, how do I know they're genuine? Because look might be just a little bit circulated so how do I know the day genuine so if I put them together oh so here I have the reading and as you can see the reading is actually quite terrible on the first two sort of um, okay on the next two and on the original is actually quite good but the reading is generally how you tell that they're counterfeit have a look at terrible that is and if I turn it around, you can see they're terrible as well. Oh, that's that's even worse. So that's how I can tell that they are counterfeit. That's one way. So, the second way is look at the image. These are all pretty flat. This is quite a as good relief. Uh, the edges are, there is no real large impression. Same with all these, so all these four are pretty much the same. These ones had the little bit good edging, these ones had the poor edging. So you already know that these two are counterfeit, but these two, these are a bit harder. These, oh, because you can see it's got scratching right there, and it's same here. This one could also be counterfeit. And this one, have a look at the relief, it's pretty poor. And the metal actually doesn't look like it's this aluminium bronze, it could be brass or something like that. And also the letters on this one is quite poor, the same, so it has all the hallmarks of casting. And the same with this one. So let's have a look at the Queen's head side. So here we have the Queen's head side, so this is the original. These ones, yeah, not too bad. Uh, the around the side is actually a little bit what I'm worried about uh, and this one actually the relief on the actual coin is actually quite poor so it looks pretty cast and same as that one so this one these two might actually be original but they just might have been damaged somewhere post mint damage but this coin here actually has a damage mark there and as you can see here it actually looks yeah the mid, yeah it just looks pretty looks pretty fake the, the actual minting of it looks cast to me but there is a small chance that actually could be original coin and that's why it's toned is uh yeah very strange this coin here as you can see the relief is it's okay it doesn't look like a normal relief you'd get for a two dollar coin uh, the reading is a little bit stuffed so this actually could be genuine just could be um, the controls actually were not good uh, another 1994 yeah, a little bit flattened this would look like pretty circulated. Nah, this side looks pretty bad, looks pretty flat and worn. But the edges, as you can see there, definitely this is counterfeit. And if you look on forums, you can actually see that other people have counterfeits pretty much the same as these. Uh, another counterfeit, 97. 
and actually go up into 2003. I wouldn't be surprised if all years are actually minted counterfeit. Look at that, bad. That is bad. Very bad. Very bad. And if we have a look at the indigenous person, um, yeah, it's not as not as bad as that one, but it's still not as good as the original coin. So, counterfeit two dollar coins. Just um, be careful with your currency in there, and be careful where country you go to, because counterfeit coins are everywhere, and also banknotes as well. Have an awesome coin collecting time, people, and don't try and sell or spend these coins. Have an awesome time. Bye-bye.